Happy Up The Words Wednesday, Fish Keepers and also Go Queensland. Right, let's look at what we're going to do in the fish room today. We're going to finish off this, get this sealed up, get it uh, dried off so I can fill it up over next week. QT setup is empty. Yep. Water change is coming through here. So we get rid of some new fish to come in next week as well. So we'll get that done. I'm having some massively dramatic issues in through here. Uh, camera's not really showing up very well. It's always a massive red flag to me when I see bristle nose hanging on the outlet of a sponge filter like this. Haven't seen any spots yet, but it's often a sign that some white spot or some spots are coming. The platies in here look terrible. Uh, so something's not quite right in there, so I'm going to try and diagnose this today. Not entirely sure what, but we'll try and get through that too. Probably quite important to deal with this one. We'll be clearing out one of these tanks of platies, so we can move the other ones from the other rack into here and then move the mollies around, so that is the next thing to do. Get all that going, and that basically completes the platy setup, the molly setup. Uh, and that kind of thing, so it's on the agenda today as well. As per always, we'll be checking for eggs in through here. Hopefully we can find some eggs somewhere. Haven't recently, but we'll see how we go. Periodically through the day, I will be looking for tetra fry in here. Um, I'll just do it a few times during the day, see if I can see any movement. We should be close to hatching today, I would suspect. I've already recorded a video on the Shell Dweller tank today. We're going to do a new feature series on YouTube basically showcasing all of the display aquariums in the shop. So I'm going to start with the first display and work my way through. So this is the first video. That'll be the second video. I believe this fella here is going to be the third video. Fourth video. Fifth video. Sixth video. But we'll do one a week, I'm hoping. That is the plan, at least, but we'll see how we go with that. Yesterday I got through uh, adjusting all the numbers on the fish we have in stock, all but this bottom rack through here. So I'll get that done as soon as the lights come on. So all the stock on the website will be completed. Uh, I'll do a few spot tests, uh, spot checks in here if required. Probably not too much in here. This tank here definitely needs a bit of love. I uh, wouldn't know about that one because the lights are on, I can't see. These guys need a bit of love as well, so maybe I'll just focus on these couple of tanks. Spot cleaning and water changing in here. Because I already think that is basically going to be the best part of my day taking up. Plant orders should arrive very soon if they're not at the door already. Let's open the door and have a look, eh? Let's unlock it. No. No, plant orders have not arrived just yet. So, yeah. When the plant orders arrive, I'll get them done as number one priority, get them all out for a long weekend. Uh, so that should probably take up the vast majority of the day. Then I've just got a little bit of graphic design stuff. We have three of the Let's Talk Aquarium podcasts happening tomorrow. So I've got to get the thumbnail and get all that set up as well. So pretty busy day. I think that is going to take up the best part of my day already. So let's crack on. Task one complete. Just unloaded a full magazine of silicon on this biatch. Look at me being gangster and topical from the 90s or even the 2000s. Anyway, hopefully that there means no more leaky leaky. No more leaky leaky means it's going to hold some water. Hold some water means we can put some snails in it. Put some snails in it means happy days for me. Right, on to the next task. Water changes, filter cleaning has begun. As you can see, some tanks are a bit more muckier than the others, so all the tanks with no fish in them, which is everything but this one, and the one down there. Got all the filter sponges cleaned off, all the front glass and all the panels and stuff like that done. While I'm at it, because I'm going to drain them completely and reset them all, I'm going to do things like push the tanks together and push them all against the wall. So the heating option with you know, keeping one tank in the middle here warm will then push through better for some of the rest of them, because like, these guys are a gappy and there's a couple other like through here that are gappy and stuff like that so we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly and maximise that use of the warmth uh, also pushing the tanks back you can't see at the moment because it's all murky will stop uh, the fish getting out 
and then finding themselves to an early grave along the uh, pieces of wood that are holding up the tanks. Furthering that I'm going to make sure I keep the water level a little bit lower probably around this point so that minimizes that as well. Uh, so yeah that's what's going to happen for the next hour or so. I'm contemplating painting the back of them all while I'm moving them but I don't think I will do that this time around but I think I'd like to paint them all possibly white or black um, just to clean up the look a smidgen more while I'm at it. First refilling objective making sure the water level doesn't get too high perfect absolutely perfect I didn't make a mess I was not paying attention I did that correctly 100% correctly I may or may not have I have I had forgotten why the gaps were there also the drip lines could go down to the bottom uh, so that one didn't fit I could join some things and make some things work so yeah way to give myself more work for the day orders all packed up nice and simple not a lot pretty light plant week last week which is good because it's a short week which makes this today a little bit easier water changes complete we've done and through there no dramas whatsoever other than a little bit of water on the ground it's not too bad uh, this is the only ear line that is a little bit short after closing all the gaps up hey, easy enough fix i'll just chuck a uh, pull that piece off chuck another longer piece onto it and then drop it into it so it's not too bad at all uh, it's time now for some lunch and then i'll get overrated underrated sorted and then we'll work out what's going on with these fish which i've just done a water change on and hopefully i can also move some of these platies this afternoon as well. We're already beginning to run out of time, but we'll see how we go. Dory Dora's out of one tank and into another. I've left everything running in there just in case I've missed one or two overnight because that's what quarries do. Pretty sure I haven't, but you never know. Uh, tomorrow we'll drain it, clean it maybe, a few other bits and pieces, get it ready, drop the airlines down and down to here get it ready for the next stage of its life which is going to be the display tank in the shop